In the preceding video, I've talked about making a uh, antenna coil for these low uh, long wave frequencies. And I thought that you can connect a coil to the oscillator, the test oscillator. Uh, schematic is on my YouTube channel. I want to keep it very short now, it's only a vlog. And I've, uh, there was one way of measuring such a coil, directly connecting it to the oscillator, reading out the output uh, via the frequency counter and the scope. But now I've made another test setup that is perhaps more precise. Uh, please uh, understand that these are only, say, serious radio experiments. Say to to give some insight uh, in how this all works. Anyway, um, this is now the coil connected to the test oscillator here. And that coil is set to a certain frequency. And my idea is to uh, set it to 183 kilocycles, Radio Romania. Of course, I'm absolutely not sure that I can receive it in the Netherlands where I live. But anyway, this coil is tuned to that frequency and when you take the rod, spheroid rod, in and out, you can tune tune more precise around that 183 uh, kilohertz. The test oscillator again, but now I have connected my antenna coil and that what I want to say is the antenna coil that I probably going to use in the future as antenna coil and again there must be a proper antenna connected when it is a uh, when it has say a long wire antenna the length of that antenna hanging on that antenna coil will also have an effect on the frequency in general when you connect a long wire antenna directly to a coil it brings the, freq the resonance frequency of the coil down. Anyway, what is the aim of this video? Um, I've now connected here that coil, my projected, projected antenna coil to the, uh, the test oscillator. The test oscillator gives its signal out via a 15 picofarad capacitor. So this uh, projected antenna coil is decoupled from the um, the test oscillator that works around 183 kilohertz. Thus, what what will happen when I tune the antenna coil here a little bit by moving the rod in and out? The output frequency also will change. And because I've connected here now my scope and my counter to that coil, you can see where in this situation the peak resonance is. So gonna do that. I only have one hand by the way. Tur we are now 189 kilohertz. I stick the rod a little bit in. Say now the the uh, the peak is gone. Take the rod a little bit out. So here now I move that rod. Here is the resonance, the peak resonance of the coil that I've connected to the output output of the test oscillator and that is around 189 kilohertz. I can turn that uh, frequency a little bit here. Let's see what happens. So here we turn it say over the peak of the resonance and it means and perhaps it's strange compared to my earlier video where I was talking about a certain parallel capacitor to that antenna coil that now we suddenly have the situation uh, where we have an output cap of 82 picofarads and uh, say uh, an input cap of 15 picofarads and no parallel cap over the tuning coil. So on a certain way uh, 
it must of course uh, be confirmed by the radio theory and I'm sure I surely know that it is but the idea is that I can use this now here as an antenna coil for VLF or in ID by the way uh, say uh, no proof the proof is always in the pudding uh, uh, sorry the proof is in the eating etc etc the proof of the pudding is in the eating uh, anyway so it seems to me that with a, a, a certain capacitor here paralleled to that old um, uh, computer coil out of a computer power supply I could receive that radio station on uh, one eight three kilo cycles radio Romania. The location is Brasov, and uh, like I told earlier, um, in your syringe has a lot of good long wave radio circuits on his YouTube channel. And this is say a, a second experiment for me. And like I told the loop antenna is more or less the ideal antenna for a VLF. Anyway, it's radio. Always an adventure. So let's stick in that coil again. Look at the resonance. I cannot uh, explain these are kind of sub resonances I cannot explain it but I'm almost sure that I'm now on the right frequency where this uh, projected antenna coil can work so this is what I'm doing moving it in and out and this is what you see on the scope and of course on the counter because the frequency changes even substantially. Thanks for watching. It's only a vlog. Anyway.